we have a notebook check that's due on Wednesday. You have three options for your special assignments. You pick one of the three. Don't forget to do those. We use a lot of virtual labs in here, which are experiences that uh, cut down the time frame of experiences, but gives them a much greater view of what's out there. I've been lucky enough to have computers in my classroom for the last, uh, I think I counted, it was 14 years. We are a one-on-one -on -one ratio here. I got 32 netbooks and a charge cart, so each student is assigned uh, a netbook, as well as we have a clicker uh, response system. Same number clicker, same number computer, and my students are, seem to really like that. It's a good way as far as a formative assessment, immediate feedback, see what they know, don't know, give me a chance to reteach if it's something that they didn't get the first time. The project my students are working on is called a Glogster, and it's a digital format, and they had a choice of either plant, animal, or bacterial cell, and they were given the guidelines of all the organelles and functions they had to account for. They have to have four different links as well as two different videos. I like high school because they're becoming real people, and their influences are still home-based as elementary and middle school, they're friends-based. And now I think they're starting to look for what, what the future might hold. And I think we have a chance to make a difference and, and, and maybe guide or, or motivate kids to, to career paths. I enjoyed the days of coaching, but I, I, I am equally enjoying where I'm at now. There's a lot going on in education. I'm excited about some of the stuff we're you know, getting ready to embark upon. I think students, uh, this whole iPad initiative is going to have some really cool things for students to do and you know I'm gonna keep doing this until I it's not any fun anymore.